Hey everybody, welcome back to the AC Forerun channel. Uh, I'm Jason and I've got some clear skies ahead of me for the next week or two. So I'm going to take advantage of that and I think uh, we're going to go ahead and get the, the telescope out and we're going to go see what we can image. So the plan for tonight is to start imaging the Elephant Trunk Nebula, uh, IC1396. So the Elephant Trunk Nebula or IC1396 is located in the constellation Cepheus. Um, so it is just west of uh, Cassiopeia. Um, so it is a northern constellation which means it is a circumpolar constellation which means it doesn't ever really set. It, it has a, I've got plenty of time, a lot of time to get uh, as much data as possible. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spend the next uh, six nights or so collecting data. Um, I'm going to be collecting narrowband data so I'll be collecting hydrogen alpha, uh, sulfur 2, and oxygen 3. Um, I'm hoping to get at least uh, 10 or so hours on each um, on each filter, on each uh, channel, um, and then combine all those images together to make a image in the uh, SHO or the Hubble uh, palette. Um, so yeah, come along and we're going to just see what we can capture. I'm going to try and make this video a little shorter than I make most of my videos, but um, let's just uh, let's get to capturing and see what we can come up with. Okay, so it's been about so it's been like four weeks <laughs> since I started this uh, this uh, video, but um, uh, I did manage to capture uh, all my data that I wanted on the elephant trunk. Um, in addition to that, I also captured some data on the heart. So I thought um, I would go through and just show you the single subs for each uh, channel on each of those targets. So what we're looking at right here is a single 10-minute uh, sub or 600-second sub on uh, the elephant trunk. 
uh, in the um, hydrogen alpha uh, channel. I used, for both targets, I used my Red Cat 51, uh, which has a 250 millimeter focal length. I used my ZWO ASI 2600 uh, monochrome camera. And I used my uh, three nanometer Antlia filters. Uh, this is HA, like I said. Uh, if we just look at the different subs. Uh, a lot of uh, nebulosity there in uh, hydrogen alpha. Uh, there's my uh, flip, my meridian flip. Um, but that is the uh, the HA data. This here is the sulfur two data. As you can see, uh, there's a lot less of it, um, and it's mainly around the outer edge of the nebula. Okay, uh, so let's look at the next one, which is our oxygen. So this is the oxygen on the um, elephant trunk. Uh, as you can see here, it is mainly in the center of that nebulosity. All right, so let's go ahead and move on over to the data for the heart. And if we look at the heart, we're going to go to the HA uh, first. So this is the data on, this is a single sub of uh, a 10 minute sub exposure on uh, on the heart nebula in the HA uh, channels. You can see there's a lot of nebulosity around here, a lot of everything. My framing, I wanted to offset it just a bit to kind of capture all this additional nebulosity that was out here. So hopefully um, that will that will come out and it will average out. So we can just kind of go through a couple of the frames here. Just look at them. They're all looking pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next uh, next channel on the heart, which will be the um, sulfur. So here's the sulfur, along with a satellite trail, if you can see, or a, something going through the, the frame right there. Um, but as you see, the, the sulfur kind of just uh, is the ring around the whole heart area. So let's look at a couple of those subs. Not looking too bad. Again, these are all single subs, so I wouldn't expect to see a whole lot in, in a single sub. Uh, let's go ahead and move on over to our oxygen sub. So here's our oxygen sub, again with more satellites. Here's two coming down this way, another one coming around this way. Um, when I stack it, hopefully all that will stack out. Um, but as you look um, here for the the oxygen subs, it's mainly oxygen is mainly concentrated in the center of the heart. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and switch on over to uh, to Photoshop, and we'll uh, bring everything into Photoshop and uh, see what we come up with. Okay, so uh, here we are in Photoshop. Now, I don't plan on making this a, a processing uh, video to show uh, all my processing steps. I just wanted to show um, basically uh, the stacked images from each uh, from each uh, filter from each uh, bandpass, and um, just to tell you how much I was actually able to stack, and just show you the initial uh, image once everything is combined in Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to do that for both um, for both the elephant elephant trunk nebula and the heart nebula. And at the end, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys my processed uh, final images for both. So right here, what we have on screen, this is the uh, HA data stacked for the Elephant Trunk Nebula. This was a stack of 11 hours and 50 minutes. 
So this was 71 10 minute sub exposures. Um, HA normally goes in the green uh, in the green channel here, so that's where we went on ahead and put it for the uh, SHO or the Hubble uh, color palette. Uh, the sulfur right here is the sulfur. Now the sulfur was a stack of the sulfur was a stack of 63 10 minute exposures. Uh, total time on that was 10 hours and 30 minutes. And this is my stretched uh, sulfur image. Uh, for the blue channel, uh, that's where the oxygen goes. So if we look at uh, the blue channel here, uh, this is the oxygen. Like I said, it was all pretty much in the center. Um, this is a stack again of 63 10-minute exposures for a total time of 10 hours and 30 minutes on this channel. So initially when I combine these all together and I put the sulfur in red, the hydrogen in green, and the oxygen in blue, uh, we come up with an image that looks like this. This is uh, hasn't been processed yet, but this is what it usually comes out. Uh, very green and very magenta. So let's go ahead and look at um, the heart nebula now. Okay, so for the heart nebula, um, here I didn't get as much time as I did on the oven trunk, but um, I think it still came out I think it still came out pretty good. Um, so here in the uh, hydrogen alpha, uh, I had uh, 47 10 minute exposures stacked for a total time of seven hours and 50 minutes. Um, and this is my stretched uh, hydrogen alpha uh, channel. The sulfur, a little different. The sulfur was uh, 53 10 minute exposures for a total time of eight hours and 50 minutes. Again, you can see the sulfur is all around the edges of the nebulosity. Uh, for the blue channel or for the oxygen, um, again, it was uh, 52 10 minute sub exposures. Uh, and the total time was eight hours and 40 minutes. So now when we put all those channels together, uh, red uh, going to sulfur, green going to hydrogen alpha and blue going to oxygen um, and put all those together here is the initial image that we get again it's very green and also very magenta so during processing uh, all those things are taken out the green is taken out it's more normalized the magenta is taken out it's more normalized um, but these are my my initial uh, stacks and uh, combining of the uh, monochrome data. So with that, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and post my two uh, final images here for you guys to see. Um, again, these were taken from my backyard, uh, Bortle five and a half, eh. okay, Bortle six more than likely, probably now. Um, but these were taken from my backyard uh, in my observatory. Um, for the last uh, uh, during the last four weeks so I hope you enjoy them um, if you're new to my channel and you want to hit that uh, thumbs up please do um, uh, like and subscribe I always appreciate uh, new subscribers uh, leave me comments tell me what you think um, if you like my images if you don't like my images if you've seen <laughs> that uh, that I've done anything uh, vastly wrong um, again, this wasn't a processing video or any anything like that. I think what I'm going to try and do next is I'm going to schedule a, uh, a live stream to process some of my um, other data and hopefully you guys can uh, can join me there and we'll just kind of go through the whole process, at least my process, um, for, um, for uh, processing uh, images. Me, I am a minimalist. So I don't like to put a whole lot of work into the processing. Um, I don't really do a lot of masking or any of that stuff. I am very, very basic. And I think my image just come out okay. I mean, I, I know that, that, I, that, there, that there's a lot of uh, room for improvement. But, um, you know, I'm happy with my images. And if I'm happy with my images, 
that's that's all that that's all that matters to me. So um, with that, thank you guys. Uh, images to follow here um, in the next couple seconds. Um, thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you in my next video. And as always, clear skies.